Page ultimately a disappointing result today with a 3 1 defeat against Barnet. What's your thoughts on the game? Um, my thoughts is it was exactly like Yeovil, you know, when we lost 3 0 away. Um, we never really got going and we dropped our standards, and that's all it was. We dropped our standards, and yeah, it was very disappointing today. Because that's the thing, it was an unchanged side, the side that beat your Weymouth 3 1, uh, 3 0 rather, away. Yeah. We've gone into it three away wins in a row, three clean sheets, and you know, the hype was there to go and get results today, but ultimately it just wasn't wasn't to the standards we set. Yeah, I mean, we just we just didn't get going. We didn't get going, even when we went 1 0 down and we managed to come back. Um, we just didn't, we didn't get going. Um, yeah, we had a great game the other day, but that, that's, that's gone now, you know. Um, like I said, we're, we're obviously we've been really inconsistent, and that's been our whole season, we've been inconsistent. But you know, we just we can't get too down about ourselves. We just can't go again. I hope, like, luckily, we've got a game on Tuesday, and I've got to put it right there. You mentioned the inconsistency there. Arguably, that has been the biggest problem for us this season. Is we'll go and get a few good results, and then come to a game that we think, oh, that could be an extra mark, and then we fall, fall, fall short of that. What do you think we need to do to improve on that? It's, it's probably it's a mentality. It's definitely a mentality thing. Um, but, I mean, we do everything right in training. We do it. The gaff is always getting onto us, even in the, before the game. Said, like, "Come on, the consistency needs to be there." But that's, like you said, that's been our season inconsistent. But um, I'm sure we'll go on Tuesday and we'll go again. But then we have got to keep going and we've got to keep going. And that's, that's all we've got. And it was it was a good start today, you know. But on the ultimate, it's a bit of a sucker punch. The cross comes in from the right. Great header from Hooper, and they go one up. But we've shaped great, great maturity to come back six minutes and get a goal through yourself. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean. I don't think no one was good today. I think probably Cody was probably our best player today. But um, the goals are sloppy. What we can see is sloppy. Forget the last goal, we're trying to chase the game. But the first goal sloppy, we lost in midfield. The second goal, I mean, it's a silly penalty to give away. But it's a, it's a collective from strikers, midfield, defenders, the goalkeeper. It's got to be better. Exactly that, you know, it does, we can all point the, point the fingers at the defenders and the goalkeeper. So we can see the three today and, you know, we've only scored one down the other. But ultimately, it's a team collective and we need to go and back ourselves up on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's definitely a team. It's definitely a team thing. It's team collective. Today, we wasn't good enough. We know that we hold our hands up. And um, obviously, we apologise to the fans. We apologise especially to the gaffer and the staff because we do everything properly, but we, we were disappointed today. Obviously, with Kings in a new side in this league, a new side maybe for you to face uh, on Tuesday night. What, what's your thoughts ahead of that game? Just um, we need to quickly dust ourselves off, put this game behind us, and just go again. Go. Well, it starts now, but we go in on Monday, train properly, and we're taking Kings Lynn like we've been took everybody else. Are you in the shop? Sign up below. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.